How much cheaper was it to go to Scotland? That's ridiculous. It can't be that much cheaper. Hi and welcome back to One the Robsons where we're all about caravan time is family time and caravan time is freedom. If you're new here, we're a family of five who use our caravan for all of our holidays. That includes our holiday in the summer and all the weekend holidays. So if you like, you can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below, but make sure you hit that bell to get notifications about what we're doing. So today's video is a comparison between the cost of going to France, where we normally go for our holidays, and then the cost last year of going to Scotland. So if you didn't know, we were intending to go to France for, I think, 12 days. We're only going to include like, the pitch prices, the fuel to get there, and things that were essentially like, tolls on the ferry for going to France. We're not going to include anything else like general spending money, and we're not going to do a comparison between France and Scotland in terms of how cheap it is when you're on the pitch. From time to time, I'll look at the laptop here, which has got the facts and figures on this, but actually it was a dramatic difference. I didn't think it would be this much of a difference between going to France and then going to Scotland. So let's get into the figures. So we decided to go to France last year for, I think it was 12 nights in total. We'll work it out in a second. What I'm going to go through is how much would it cost us to get the ferry, how much would it cost us in tolls, how much would it cost us in fuel, and how much does it cost for the campsites. So, Last year, to get the ferry, it would have cost us £360. Now, we were going to get the Eurotunnel there and the ferry back. We actually didn't pay that because we used our Tesco Club Car vouchers, but essentially it would cost us £360 to go to France last year by getting the ferry. If you then add on the campsites, which in total cost us £445 to go to the campsites while we were in France. Now, we didn't go to the most expensive campsites, but France campsites are a bit more expensive, but to be fair, you are getting a little bit more features. So to put that down a bit, we we're going to stay in Captain St. Louis for one night and that would have cost us about £30. Or I think it was just over €30. Euros. We were stopping at Three Kings for seven nights in total and that would have cost us £360. So I think that's pretty reasonable for the site. It did have a pool, it did have the river near and it had run not too far away, but it didn't have any slides. So it was a cheaper site, so £360 for seven nights at that site. On the way back then, we were going to stay at somewhere like Chateau de Gansbet. We hadn't actually booked that yet. And we were going to stop there for two nights. So that would have cost us another £60. So in total, our campsite fees for France last year were going to cost us £445. So we've got the ferry so far at £360 and we've got the campsite at £445. Now obviously because we're going to France and we live in the North East, we have to think about petrol costs and we have to think about the tolls. So in total, the tolls were going to cost us about £100, which isn't too bad, but again, that's something we wouldn't have to pay if we went to Scotland like we did in the end. Petrol costs we estimated would cost us about £325, and that was only getting to the sites that wasn't while we were there. So that's a significant amount of money on fuel getting down to Dover, over to France, cost us £325. So in total, it was going to cost us £1,230 for going to France, including tolls, petrol, the campsites and that sort of thing. And I think that's pretty reasonable for going to France. That was for 11 nights in France, and we probably would have, although we didn't book it, maybe stay one night on the way back in England somewhere. So you're probably talking about another £20 to £30 for that as well. So a significant amount of money, but not ridiculous if you compare it to a family holiday if you went by flight with five people. Sorry about that, the battery on the camera completely died, so what kind of caravan vlog am I when I don't actually bring an extra battery with me? But hey ho, this is why I'm in a completely different attire. If you're liking the video so far, smash the like button, put a comment down below, are you going to France or are you going to Scotland this year? So we know that last year France would have cost us £1,200 before we were not allowed to go. Let's compare that to Scotland. So obviously with Scotland we've got a few less things to add into our prices. We've literally got the pitch fees and the petrol because there are no tolls here in the UK on the roads that we drove on. So we had two nights at Carlisle at a Dindy Dinmot, hard for me to say, campsite. That was £25 per night, so that's £50 in total. We then moved up to Air and a site called The Ranch for six nights, and that in total on those six nights, that was a fully service pitch, cost us £153. After this, we moved on to East Berwick on East Fortune Farm, which is a CL, but we were actually on the main part of the site as opposed to CL, um, and that was, again, fully serviced, and that was £21 per night, or £63 per night. Then if we go on to the fuel costs, the fuel in total cost us about £90, give or take, so in total for our Scotland trip without any food, anything else like that was £356. Now if you compare that, our France bit was £1,250. In the top left here is a video on our France trip from a few years ago, and in the bottom right will be a playlist from France. 